Hey guys, it's the Chad. And in my last video, we went through and I gave you my top 10 reasons why I think you should be looking to replace your old tires. Well, I know tires can be pretty expensive, but they can truly make the difference if you make it from point A to point B safely. Well, in today's video, we're gonna go through and talk about how to improve your tire performance and how you can go through and make those old tires last a little bit longer. So I know going out and buying a brand new set of tires is pretty tough on the old pocketbook, but you have to think of it as an investment, an investment in your safety. I think a good set of tires and seat belts are probably the two most important safety components in a vehicle. But do you know what the two most important factors are that affect tire performance? Well, that would be tire pressure and tread depth. So let's talk about tire pressure first. Keeping your tires properly inflated is one of the easiest ways to maintain good gas mileage and extend the life of your old tires. Now, most tire manufacturers are gonna recommend that you check your tire pressure at least once a month when it's normal conditions out and more frequently when we have these cold snaps. It's not a big surprise to come out to the vehicle in the morning and your lower warning lights on or that light that kind of looks like a troll head or a mushy mushroom. You know what I'm talking about. But our tires can lose up to 10 pounds of pressure overnight in these cold snaps. Now, a way we can combat that is you can have your tires filled up with nitrogen. I'm just not a big fan of that because there's not very many dealers around here that actually can do that. So if you ever have a flat or a low tire and you put normal air in, you've just defeated the purpose of that. So how in the heck are you supposed to know what the recommended tire pressure is for your vehicle? Well, that's easy. You can just go right to the owner's manual, but if you don't have one, just open up the driver's door and look here on the B pillar. What you'll find is the tire information label. It'll be red, white, yellow, and black. It will tell you exactly what size tires are supposed to be on the front and rear of your vehicle and how much tire pressure. Now, newer vehicles, it's not uncommon to see front tires requiring different pressure than the rears. Now there's a lot of newer vehicles like this one here that you can actually check how much tire pressure is in each one of the tires right here at the dash. Now if you don't drive a newer vehicle like this or drive uh, kind of some junk like that back there, you're actually going to have to do it the old fashioned way and check them manually. But it's not the end of the world, at least you're getting a little bit of exercise. So if you're one that's not real familiar with working on cars, I'm sure checking the old tire pressure seems a little bit intimidating. But don't sweat it, once you get the hang of things it's pretty easy. Now the three most common types of tire pressure gauges that you can find at auto parts stores or online would be the digital, the dial, or the old fashioned pin or stick type. Now my favorite two to use is gonna be digital or dial because I think they're the easiest to read and probably the most accurate, but nothing wrong with the old pin stick either. Now one I definitely stay away from would be when you go to gas stations and the gauge is actually connected to the air hose itself those things are heavily abused and most of the time they're very inaccurate. So I just recommend going out and spending a few bucks and buying one of these three types. I'll put a link in the description below for the three that I use. To do this, I've got my wife out here and she's pretty much an expert mechanic. So the first thing you need to do is take the valve stem cap off. That lefty Lucy, and don't lose it. Then you're gonna go through and grab the tire gauge and you're gonna stick it on the valve stem. You want to do it pretty straight so you can't hear any air escaping. And then check your pressure. Now at that point, if it's low, you're going to go through and grab the air hose, stick the chuck on the end of the valve stem so, so you don't hear any air escaping. And then after a couple seconds, you'll want to check the tire pressure again. And you're going to keep doing this until you hit your vehicle's recommended tire pressure. Now if you happen to overinflate the tire, you can actually go through and let a bit, little bit of air out of it. Now you can take a small screwdriver if there's a little nipple on the actual gauge itself. You can depress that on the valve stem until you get to the right pressure you want. So after you're done there, put the valve stem cap back on and we'll go through and check all of the tires on the vehicle. But don't forget the spare. Nothing's worse than having a flat and trying to replace it with a flat. Nice work. So now that we've got tire inflation covered, let's move over to tire tread depth. Now probably the easiest way to go through and check your old tire tread depth would be with one of these guys, you know, a tire tread depth gauge. Now if you're not some kind of tire nerd like I am, I doubt you own one of these, and that's okay. There's other easy ways to check your tires too. 
Another easy way to check it is if you just pull out a quarter. You can flip that quarter upside down and stick it into a major tread groove. Now, if you can't see the top of Washington's head, then your tires at least have 430 seconds of tread depth left and you can continue on down the road. But if you can see the top of Washington's head through the tread grooves, then it's time to be looking for a new set of tires. So I've seen other guys do the same type of test, but they'll use a penny. No different, you just stick old Honest Abe upside down in the major tread grooves. Now, if you can see the top of his head, you know you're below 230 seconds and it's immediately time to replace those tires. 230 seconds, you would also notice what we have here is called a wear bar indicator. Now, if your major tread grooves hit these perpendicular wear bars, then that's an indication that you need to replace your tires as well. Now I know a tire with 230 seconds versus 430 seconds, you know a penny versus quarter test doesn't seem like much, but it is pretty significant when you're talking about stopping distances. A vehicle with 230 seconds will take about six car lengths longer to stop than a vehicle with 430 seconds if there's any moisture on the roadway. Now you need to think about that next time you're following a car too closely with your bald tires. So take that penny, throw it back in the piggy bank and use that quarter. Other things you can do to increase tire longevity would be maintenance. Now, I'm not just talking about tire maintenance, I'm talking about your whole vehicle. Now, these things would include routine tire inspections, rotating your tires every five to 7,000 miles, having alignment checks done, and balancing the tires when they need it. Now, all these things can increase your fuel economy, reduce your chances for a flat or a blowout, and save you a lot of money in the long run. So next time you have to go out and buy a set of tires, talk to your dealer about their roadside protection plan. Now these usually cover any kind of tire defects, repairs, free tire rotations, and if you have a tire that's non-repairable, it's a prorated replacement. Now for ours, it cost me an extra 40 bucks for the van, and it's already paid itself off because I've had two tire repairs already. So it can save you in the long run. Now if you can't afford to buy all four tires at once and only afford two, Put those new tires on the rear axle. The reason for that is traction. A vehicle that loses traction in the rear is more likely to spin or rotate, and that's not what you want when you're driving down a busy roadway. Now spending a few minutes each month with your tires can not only protect you, your family, other motorists, it's definitely going to increase the life of your tires. Well, that and you know, better driving habits. If you're one of those people that's all gas, all brakes, Yeah, you're definitely gonna chew through a set of tires pretty quick. Now, if you guys know of other ways to extend the life of your old tires, type that down the old clickety-clack. And while you're there, hit that like button and subscribe. I appreciate your time. Thanks for watching.